Hi, I'm Adam Kovnak. I'm with Sotomoto. I import cars from Japan. Sotomoto is my auto import business, so I import cars from Japan primarily. What I'm importing uh, are 25-year-old cars, and in Japan, in the late 80s and early 90s, they had a, what's commonly referred to as the bubble economy. And the bubble economy had lots of innovative cars, uh, lots of very high-quality but limited production vehicles, and it's those that we're mainly focused on. So what we're looking at today is a, a Subaru Sambar. It's a K-truck. So the K-truck is a class of license and taxation in Japan. It's basically a lightweight vehicle. They're cars that have a certain outside dimension, a maximum horsepower, maximum engine displacement, and a maximum weight. So this is a 660cc four-cylinder rear engine light truck. Four-wheel drive, ultra-low range, locking rear differential, so fairly exotic, uh, fairly innovative, very fun around town. The 25-year rule is basically an allowance for vehicles that are at least 25 years old from the month of manufacture to be allowed into the United States. Vehicles that were not originally manufactured for U.S. regulations. One thing about the 25-year rule that's nice is that the years just keep rolling on. So now we're up to early 1996, 97, 98 is now right around the corner and uh, there's a lot of interesting cars that were first produced then. In Japan, they had a Pajero Mini, which is a K-class Pajero. What we're sitting in right now is the Pajero Junior, which is just now at 25 years old. It's the same envelope as the Pajero Mini, but it's got wider track, fender flares, a larger engine, and basically a little bit more trim. But it's uh, just now able to be brought into the United States. So the 25-year rule has been on people's uh, radar for quite a long time. The market's a little bit more difficult and many people are buying vehicles uh, even before they're 25 years old. So we've got some vehicles in Japan, some up in Canada to wait out the clock and others are doing the same thing. So there aren't the same bargains in Japan as there were a couple years ago but uh, what's coming out in 96, 97 is uh, exciting. Great cars.